Hi guys, it's Healy the Tiny here, back with another video, and my second, second video, to be exact. Maybe the first in this channel since I forgot to upload the other one to the proper channel. But anyway, I thought I'd start by starting into some videos to show you guys um, what I'm like, what I'm into and all that. So I thought, what better video than to um, show you my ice hockey jersey collection. Um, I love ice hockey, I'm a big fan of ice hockey. There's a league over here, I've been following it for four seasons now, I'm still only a baby. Um, but it's something that I just love to watch, I love to learn about. Um, I just love it, really. <laughs> but yeah, I've got, I think, near 20 or 30 jerseys. Um, they keep growing. <laughs> I'm due another one. Um, the end of this season, I have sponsored uh, one of our our team's players um, jerseys. Um, if you're an EIHL fan, you should know Jonathan Boxall. He was playing for Nottingham Panthers last season. He now plays for the Belfast Giants for our season, and I have sponsored his away jersey. Um, but I don't get to pick it up till the end of the season. I could have Christmas or the end of the season. I thought why not let him get some more use out of that jersey. So, um, but yeah, I have so much to go through. Um, firstly, I want to show off this shirt because I've been meaning to give them a shout out. This is Team Crosscheck. This is an ice hockey apparel um, company in the UK. Um, does a lot of ice hockey shirts. I got this one um, when I ordered um, just their plain white tee with their wee logo. Um, there was a problem and they very kindly sent me out this one and I love it. Um, I'm not very much a black wearer but I absolutely love it and I got a beautiful one in my Christmas step for Christmas which is just a plain burgundy one with 12 on it. Cross checks number is 12. If you want to check them out they've got some really cool stuff. They've got like old school retro t-shirts, ice hockey. They've got like the 8-bit, I think it's the 8-bit ice hockey game and the wee, um, knocking out the enforcer one and all they've got some really good ones and they've got some lovely lace up hoodies at the moment if you want to check them out i will put their link below i think it's www.crosscheckclothing.com they're peaked thanks for my order really appreciate it so i don't really know where to get stuck in so i'm just going to start with my normal one okay so this is the first jersey so this is our team over here um, they are called the Stenline Belfast Giants, for anyone who doesn't know they play in the Elite Ice Hockey League over in the UK. Um, obviously from Belfast. There we go. This is their home jersey. Um, this was a customised one I got done for myself. Um, just have my own jersey. Obviously you can get names of players on the back as you can in the USA. But this is our teal home jersey, obviously with the logo, all the sponsors as normal. And then on the back, this is the one I wear the most games, by the way, at the moment. I, I like to change it up sometimes, but this is usually the one I grab first. Um, it's got Healy the Tiny on the back and my lucky number, which is number four. Yeah, so as you can see, I have got signed at the moment. Um, I started getting it signed last year. So it's got a couple of last year player signatures on it, as well as most of our team from this year. I've only got a couple more signatures. I'll probably continue to get this signed as much as possible um, as probably this will be the jersey that I wear the most so I'd like to advertise the most. So yeah, just says Healy Tiny number four. These are made by Kirkery over here. He also make the rugby, all the rugby stuff as well. For Christmas, my little brother, um, as much, he knows I love ice hockey. I probably don't need any more ice hockey jerseys. Got to get some heat for this. I um, fell in love with the Pittsburgh Penguins, I know they're not doing too well at the moment. I know they'll bounce back. Um, I've had a rough couple of games recently. Uh, it's been quite a rough start to the season. Um, I'm hoping they pick up soon. A nice 5-0 nice win um, against the Caroline Hurricanes, so hopefully. Um, but he got me this for Christmas. It's a woman's one. I'm hoping this is focusing. It is. Um, so it's a woman's jersey. And of course... I had to get Mr. Mark Andre Fleury on the back. So um, this is a lovely wee jersey. It fits really well. It's uh, the smallest size I could possibly get. It's a, a small woman's, I believe. It has the wee. If I can grab it here, I'll probably show you. Wee mini fight strap. <laughs> Not that I'll be fighting much, but it's a really good quality of jersey. I got this. Um, obviously, all my Giants ones. Part of the customised ones are game-worn, so most of these are game-worn. Um, the NHL ones I got from 
AliExpress, which I know is fake, but I'd rather have the jersey and be able to wear it um, for a cheaper price. Um, obviously when I go over and see my first Pittsburgh Penguin game, I will invest in a real um, jersey over in their store. But to do me over, I thought this is brilliant. It's really good quality. You can't really tell it's fake, which is brilliant. So that's my Andre Fleury Pittsburgh Penguin jersey. Okay, recently in November there, we had um, very special guests over at Belfast, which was the Friendship for Bean, I think it's called Bean Pot Tournament. So we had four college um, ice hockey teams over um, for a full weekend to play in their tournament. And um, we had UMass Lyle, the Riverhawks. We had Brown University, so the Bears. Um, we had Northeastern Huskies. And we had Colgate University. So um, over the weekend they were doing, um, Belfast obviously was hosting the weekend, which was brilliant. Congrats to UMass Lyle on that championship. I was rooting for the Bears. <laughs> was obviously hosting, so Belfast did a special, or cookery I should say, did a special Friendship for um, Jersey, which is absolutely amazing. This is just a really good um, collectible, collectible to have um, in my ice hockey jersey selection. Not many people can say, well, most Belfast probably can say they have this, but um, it's quite a unique one, so obviously... It's got the four universities there at the front as well as Belfast 2015 Friendship 4. They're coming back for 2016 which is great news. And then I got just Friendship 4 in the back because again, number 4 is my lucky number. And then on the sleeves here if you can see it is actually a map of Belfast on the sleeves which I think is absolutely brilliant as well. So yep, that is my Friendship 4 jersey from November there. It's a great tournament. I really suggest going. If you're over in the United States, you probably do already if you're a nice hockey fan. I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was a different level of hockey altogether. It was really fast paced, moved really smoothly. The referees were great and um, the college kids were absolutely amazing. Um, it was a blast to watch. Okay, back to um, tournaments. This is from the All-Stars tournament in Sheffield last July. Um, There's so many charities that are represented by the ice hockey teams. I had a couple of friends who were playing. Um, so I got this Dreams Come True, which is a charity over here in the UK, and I purchased this one to support it. It's a kid size because I'm pretty tiny, um, and these were all designed by the guys themselves. So I just got HTT on the back and number four, again, lucky number, and HTT just stands for Healy the Tiny. So um, yeah, this is the All Star, so obviously All Star logos and on the arms. And it's just a really nice jersey. There it is. There. So yeah, I purchased that. And Ward, actually Dreams Come True team made it to the final. So I got it for the final to wear. Unfortunately, they didn't win, um, win the final, but they came second and it was a great text. Now, this one came to me recently, just before Christmas. It was done in a jersey trade. My friend needed a jersey and I had it. And um, he offered me a trade. Thanks, Stevie. I know he'll be watching this, so um, Stevie's my good friend. He has like the dream cupboard of ice hockey jerseys. I don't know how many he has, but I'm in love with it and I would like to live in it. And Stevie knows that. So um, yeah, Stevie needed uh, a game worn, which I very, very gladly traded him. And we made a swap. So um, this was what I got from the swap. It's going to be massive. I don't know how I'm going to... C-H-L, I believe have a defense man on our team called Jeff Mason and this is a Jeff Mason game worn ECHL back here. He still plays number three for Belfast Giants. So Mason number three and we still have let's see obviously well game worn's come with fight strap it's got a good couple of marks on it but <laughs> it's massive but I absolutely love it um and I, this is my first ECHL jersey, um, obviously. Um, I don't have many, I love these paw prints. I got that from my trade, so it's a first ECHL jersey. And I love it. And it's always nice to have players on your team, obviously. Um, I may see if I can... Oh, it is! There we go. I was going to say if it's not, but I should have known Stevie traded it to me. Um, you can see there, it is signed by Jeff Mason. Um, I was going to say if it wasn't, I was going to pop in and get it playing. So, thank you Stevie. I love it. It's in my collection. <laughs> nice story. Um, 
I obviously want you to go into ice hockey. You have that favourite player, the one you follow, the one you love to support, the one you want to sign everything and the one you criticise, the one you um, love to hate, all that one. I have a pretty your player. He is no longer with the Belfast Giants, um, but he, he did move team unfortunately. Um, but <laughs> he was my favourite player um, and I got, I, I think I have a couple of his game worns in here which you'll see throughout the thing. And um, I've been dying to get more of his game warrants, he knows that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the poor boy, um, I've probably tortured him um, through Twitter and stuff. I've been trying to collect a lot of his game warrants. Um, so I posted up randomly on Twitter one day, just asking if anyone had Kevin Phillips game warrants. Um, I have a couple myself, and I'm trying to grow the collection. And this lovely woman called Kathy um, came messaged me and she's just like, or she didn't even message me, she found me in the bar one night and asked if I was Healy the Tiny and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she offered me one of his game worn jerseys, actually it's one of his special game worn jerseys, you'll see why in a minute. And it was just so lovely and Kathy knows, like, um, I, I literally stood there and was like, oh, what on earth just happened? Like, and, um, she arrived a couple of weeks later with this and Kathy, you know who you are if you watch this. This is Kevin Phillips Game Worn Marie Curie Cancer Care Special Jersey. This is one of them, this is the Marie Curie Cancer Care and um, I've never worn a shirt off the back. Kathy very kindly um, gave me Kevin Phillips, number 62, his Game Worn Marie Curie Cancer Care Jersey. And uh, as massive as most of these jerseys will be, you will see. Um, but I can't believe it. it's another Kevin, Kevin Phillips game worn. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it's got obviously the Marie Curie Cancer Care. It's got, as you can see, I roll up the sleeves. The daffodils on the sleeves. And it's just so pretty. And I'm so happy to have this. So thank you, Kathy. Sticking with Kevin Phillips. We'll continue on with Kevin Phillips Game Worn. This is Kevin Phillips Black um, Game Worn Jersey from the 2014-15 season. Um, black has now become quite unlucky, so whether I wear this um, at any given point, I don't know. But this is his black one. Black is usually the Challenge Cup jersey. Um, so I actually got picked out um, for this black Challenge Cup jersey. I'm very very sad because Kevin's not here so I can't get him to sign any of these but if I do run into him um, I will definitely get him to sign my Kevin Warns because these aren't going anywhere. I'm a big Kevin Phelps fan so they'll be staying with me for as long as I can keep them. Again, pipe strap, Kevin Warren and this one had a couple of plucks and puckers in it so I was happy to see that and um, I think he got into the scuffle one of the nights he wore this. So I was very pleased, not that I got in the scuffle, but because the jersey was part of the scuffle. My best friend Dawn got me this um, special wee, wee breast cancer care one they brought out for a charity. Um, I was obviously, I was unfortunately not following that season when they released these, but my friend got me a wee um, junior one of this, which is quite cute, um, for my 21st birthday party. So it's literally just a Belfast Jans white jersey, but it is in pink. It has no name, no number on the back, which I think I'll keep it that way. It's just a nice wee jersey to have. And sometimes when I bring the wee girls, I babysit, I bring that one because it's one of the smallest ones I have. Back to the Phillips, only this time. Um, it is not Kevin Phillips. It is his brother, Davey. Um, this was another um, jersey buying spree from Stevie. Um, Stevie had a couple of jerseys up for sale and I was having, let's say, a very um, down day and went um, retail shopping, aka jersey shopping, which happens when I'm sometimes down and it's very bad because I spent a lot of money. So um, Stevie had this one. This is the red one. I believe this may be from either 2013-14. I think this is 2013-14. Game worn Davy Phillips jersey. So Davy Phillips is number 13, that's how you tell. Well, you can tell them apart very easily, the Phillips brothers, because Davy's very tall and Kevin's very small. 
Um, obviously, bring this forward. Signed by Davy Phillips himself. I think this is 2013-14. I'll put it in the link, or link. I'll put it in the description if it's not, but um, I believe it may be. This is the red alternative. I haven't seen one of these yet, so this is a red one. See, it's got all the sponsors, name, number, fight strap, obviously for game worn. And that's Davy Phillips. Davy Phillips is massive, so this is going to be hilarious when you see me wearing it because it's so big, as most of these jerseys are. Still going on, All Stars, I entered an auction and I won the Sydney Bears um, ice hockey jersey. Sydney Bears is the Australian ice hockey league team that I follow and um, they'll be starting back up soon. This is just a plain Sydney 88 one. Um, it's massive again, <laughs> but it's nice to have in the collection, especially because not a lot of people follow the Australian Ice Hockey League. Um, I followed it now for two, three years now. Um, I think Sydney Bears is my team. Love them, no matter how bad they do. <laughs> I do love them. So um, this is my Sydney Bears one. I won that in auction at the All Stars tournament to raise money for charity. This one is actually getting framed and put up in my room. This is a Another teal, Belfast Giants game worn, is a Craig Peacock game worn, but it is signed by um, obviously Peaks on his number. I do realise you're only supposed to get game worn signed by the player. Um, I was not aware of this when I got this jersey as a Christmas present for my mum, and I did not realise the rule that game worn should only sign by players. So I continued to get it signed not knowing. So this is actually um, the 2012-2013 Championship League winning Championship Belfast Giants team. The whole team including coaches have signed this jersey. Um, this is not being sold or it's not being traded. This is now getting framed. It's got to be framed so but this obviously this is the first thing you see and it's getting put in the big frame and it's getting put in my wall so I know I did it wrong but um, I love it either way I'm sorry Craig Peacock that I got your jersey signed so this is signed by our league winning championship team we won the Monte Bowl or Monte as we call it that year and it is signed by all the coaches and all the players Ooh. that played in the team that year so it's really special jersey to me and it was my first game worn jersey that I ever received um, so that was a sponsored one 150 for a sponsored one and then I went and got signed next is another Kevin Phillips game worn surprise surprise um, this is his playoff um, jersey 2013-2014 um, game worn playoff jersey he did not win playoffs that year but I purchased this. We got through to the final that year. So this is this Kevin Phillips game worn jersey for that. Another teal one. This is the exact same as the very first one I showed you. This is the teal, customizable, Healy the Tiny, only this one is not signed. So I have a spare one and it's just in case I never want to take out um, my signed one. Say I'm going to games away and I don't want to lose it. I can just take my wee spare one and not worry about it. I have my spare one with that. Thank you for cookery for that. On the list is another Kevin Phillips game worn when you know. So I believe this is from 2000 and we table here. Hold on. And uh, this is a game from Stevie. Uh, <laughs> Stevie supplies me with most of my game worn jerseys. It's Belfast Jones authentic game worn shirt Kevin Phillips 2009 2010 you know, worn from that season, this white one, the way shirt. Um, he and fight strap should be here. Fight strap. And this one actually is signed because it was signed when I got it. And if you notice something different, it is Phillips number seven instead of K Phillips 62. Um, this is one of his first stints, I believe, with the Giants. So um, he didn't have a 62 number. Another Ken film, game, Phillips game worn. This is his jersey from last season. This is the 2014, uh, yeah, 2014-2015 season. Um, he has since left. He now plays for Guildford Flames. But this was his playoff jersey from last season. We only made it into the quarterfinals last season. Semifinals, semifinals. Um, 
yeah, we were we placed third last year. This is Ken Phillips, number 62. Again, all the sponsors, and as is normal, playoffs that go on the front. Another one I need to get signed. Just have a signing table for the poor boy. Another playoffs um, game worn. Um, our main goaltender got injured last season for a good chunk of the season. So um, Belfast Giants brought in our other netminder, who is Carson Chubak. Um, Carson Chubak played for the Phantoms, our goaltender for the season, good old Chewy. He now plays for Embra Capitals, so he's stayed within the EIHL, which is nice to see. So this is his playoffs game worn. I may have been a bit sad because I got the Kevin Phillips game worn and the Chewback. I went on a couple of betting wars for these, um, which I really should have done. I paid a lot of money, <laughs> but I'm glad to have them in my collection since so Chewback. Number one. Um, this is hilarious on me. It's a goalie cup, so it's massive. It's like 4XL. Netminder XL, sorry. Netminder XL, which is like a 4 or 5 XL. It it could be a tent. This is how bad it is. So this is Carson's Carson Chewback's playoff game worn jersey, and that was from the 2000 and 14, 2015 season. And just a cheap one I picked up online is the Detroit Red Wings Datsuit jersey. Got that right? We Datsuit jersey. So we Reebok one as a youth one. I got it cheap on eBay. Um, I like the colours of the Detroit Red Wings. I was considering supporting them for a while, but obviously Pittsburgh won it out for me in the end. So that's just a nice wee one I have in my collection, just if sometimes if you want to remind the house and it's the first thing you grab. So it is a, another customizable one. Um, I actually got this in my um, birthday package. Um, my I think it was my 21st birthday package. Um, with the Giants you can book birthday packages, you get front row seats, you get to meet the players after the game and you get the birthday girl or boy gets a signed jersey um, and you get goodie bags for all your party. So um, this was, you got to pick your jersey. So of course I went for a junior size and of course Ken Phillips number 62. And then what they do is that then the team signs it on the front, which I think is a lovely wee thing. I may consider getting this framed in the future. 2013, 2014, I believe, the championship winning team um, have also signed this as well, which is nice to have, but let's say I may get that framed at some point. Um, it's a lovely jersey and I really love it. Um, obviously it's in the front. This is the first, one of the first other jerseys I got. Um, this is a Christmas present um, from my four friends at the time. So um, this is a white away um, jersey and it is number 72, if I can get this number up here, number 72 Daryl Lloyd and he um, he did sign it there for me in the middle. Not a game worn, just a, a normal plain jersey, obviously you can go and get their names, just any of the players names on the jersey so um, that was a lovely Christmas present um, from my friends at the time and I, I do love it and I keep it because it's one of my very first ones. It's probably covered in makeup and chocolate and god knows what else but it's it's part of my collection and I'm glad to have it there. Got three more jerseys to go guys, you'll be glad to know. Um, like, I haven't even counted how many I have. So this again was a jersey I bought. This, uh, I'm actually going to leave this in to show you. Jersey I bought from Stevie. <laughs> Stevie's just like my jersey dealer, it's really bad. Um, this is the the Rampage jersey. Yep. And this is the, if I can turn mine, it's a Rampage jersey and this is number 27, I would like to say. I'll show you why it's a wee bit funny at the bottom here in a minute. Number 27, Adam Keefe. Now Adam Keefe is the Belfast Giants team captain. We love Adam Keefe. Adam Keefe is the heartbeat of our team. Um, this is his Rampage jersey from his um, AHL days, I believe. Um, obviously you've got the Arizona Coyotes logo on the side there and your Rampage on that side. And it says Christ, Christ de Santa Rosa Healthcare. Must have been one of the sponsors. But yeah, you may notice it's a bit funny at the bottom. That's because I have to tie these jerseys when I wear them into wee t 
heels so that they um, actually stay up halfway on me. If I wear them full length, um, they go past my knees half the time. So yeah, I got that from Stevie and, oh, I forgot to show you the back. Um, I love it. Kiefer also loves it. <laughs> A lot of people ask me about this jersey. You can kind of see it there. There's the slight silver mark signed fight strap it's here and it gets used a lot by Alan Keefe. Alan Keefe is our enforcer so he likes to throw a punch or two. Um, so yep yeah, that is my Alan Keefe Rampage jersey and then we've got another Giants game worn jersey again from Stevie. This is quite funny this is the smallest Belfast Giant I believe in Belfast Giants history Jonathan Pele, which is this, and it's a wee game worn and it's not actually too bad, it fits me quite well, um, obviously they're signed there, by Pele himself, and he was the smallest giant, so smallest jersey, <laughs> so I thought that'd be quite fun to have, seeing that I'm quite tiny as well, um, another game worn, um, now I am not too sure what season this is from, I will have to check that one. So well, they've actually had to stitch up. This is how funny it is. The hem has had to be stitched up so it fits him, which I think is brilliant. So that's my Pele jersey from Belfast Giants. Um, I will leave the uh, the season at the bottom as well. All these will be in the description um, if you want to know. And then just this morning, actually, it was my my third birthday last week, and my mum asked if I would like another ice hockey jersey and of course I can't really say no. I have another favourite player um, he is not on Pittsburgh Penguins, I feel like I'm cheating on them a lot. Um, but he was my absolute favourite player um, from the other team I supported at the very start. Um, I continue to follow him. Um, I know they're not doing as well as they'd hoped this season either. Um, but I just got this this morning and I've absolutely fallen in love with it and I can't wait. I know I'm cheating on Pittsburgh by even having this or wearing this but um, I plan hopefully at some point to have a jersey off every NHL team in my collection. So obviously I've got Detroit Red Wings, Pittsburgh Penguins and this morning I have an Anaheim Ducks jersey then. There was one particular player that I absolutely loved and for once it's not a goalie, I have fascination with goalies. Um, so this arrived this morning, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, this is from AliEx AliExpress, um, but the quality is so good, those, uh, those lessons, I'm so excited. But yeah, can you guess, I've had an ongoing number here. So this is Cam Fowler, I absolutely love Cam Fowler. Um, he was my favourite player first time I laid eyes on Anaheim Ducks. Um, I'm not a big Corey Perry fan. Um, I'm not a big Sidney Crosby fan for any Penguins fans that think I may be just fangirling or um, puck bunnying. Um, I'm a Fleury fan all the way. Um, very excited for Hedgelin um, joining the, uh, the Penguins. Very excited for Ben Lovejoy to join the Penguins. Same with um, Castle. So um, this is Cam Fowler, I am absolutely in love with this jersey, I just got it this morning and it's just so, I have a thing for white jerseys and um, obviously I love my Penguins black jersey, um, it was black wasn't it, I've forgotten that it's so far at the bottom of the pile but I do believe it is a black one I got so um, this is so pretty and I'm so in love and the stitching is brilliant on it, like there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the material feels good. We even have uh, do the uh, Reebok logo on it. We've got the uh, mm -hmm. mostly got the wee mini pipe strap for all the wee ones. But I am absolutely in love. I'm so pleased with this. The lace is really like yeah. I've never had one with laces on it, so I'm like so I can't wait. So this is my last one. And actually to go with this. When I was at playoffs two seasons ago um, over in the UK, they had my NHL store, so I picked myself up. Obviously, I can't very wear these hats. I can't very wear these hats. Um, I don't often wear these hats because my head's really tiny, so they don't really fit. Through. If I can even get this on to show you, 
<laughs> they kind of fit me but they sit up quite high. Um, oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's quite chunky for my head and my ears need to stick out. Think about my ears. Um, but yeah, it's an Anaheim Ducks one. So um, obviously at that time I still sported Anaheim Ducks. So I thought this would be a good, I think it's only like 15 quid. Which is quite good. Yeah guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any ideas for any videos you want to see or any more ice hockey stuff you want to talk about, um, just leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So thanks guys. Taylor just harner really is quite tiny. She's seen me in some of these jerseys. And I will see you soon. Bye!